What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got kind of a different video of sorts. So, as the title states, did Panini screw me? Well, let's find out. So in front of us we have the set that was 2023 Phoenix. Um, it's a uh, special set that was on a, a Dutch, Dutch auction uh, on the Panini website. So I can't remember what it started off. I think it started off at like 1500 and um, went all the way down. I think maybe 400, I think was like the lowest you could possibly, um, you know, get one of these for. Uh, so the big deal with this is the guaranteed one of one with every box. Um, so in it, we're having, we have, uh, you know, 200 cards set, uh, 100 of those are the base. And this is a special fire burst. Um, which are all numbered to 340 and then you have the hundred rookies um, that are uh, also of uh, fire burst pattern to 340 um, and then that one of one could have been any one of the inserts as well as the uh, base or rookies so in the celestial uh, uh, look um, and I'll show you that in a second um, so I opened it up and the video that I made, I haven't, I haven't put it out yet. Um, so that's still coming. Uh, but I want, I definitely want to make this video, uh, cause I want everybody to know, um, you know, kind of what happens when you have a damaged card and you try to go through Panini to, you know, make it right. So it's factory damage. Um, you go through their, I went through their app. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, let me show you. Sorry, I'm just pulling it up right now. So you click on it, and yeah. So, like I said, up here in the top left-hand corner, um, you got you know all the information, whatever. Uh, then it says factory damage cards, and you click on that, and then you go through it, right? You, what type, what the year is, brand, program, all that stuff. And then you click add, then it goes through this whole thing of, you know, you need to show, you know, pictures of the damage. Um, and then anyways, it ends up giving you, I believe, uh, instructions to uh, print out of what you need to do once you've submitted it. And then it's, they've accepted your submission. Um, so I went through all of that. I, it took, you know, a little bit of time to get all that process done. Then they gave me the instructions on what I needed to do to send in the card. And um, I took it to the uh, I, I took it to the uh, post office. Um, I put it in the appropriate uh, folder. It was like a padded um, bubble wrap, all that good stuff. Inserted the original bill of sale. Inserted the um, the uh, piece of paper that they told you to uh, print out and put inside. Um, sealed it up and then shipped it off. It was about thirteen bucks um, for shipping and uh, insurance because. Um, I had to put you know, extra insurance on it because I feel like this card is more than it's about like ground. I think uh, USPS ground advantage. I think it does like a hundred dollars free and then anything over a hundred dollars you you know pay extra so anyways, um, so send it off um, So then a few days went by and I hadn't heard anything or I saw that they had received it and um, Then a few days after that I still hadn't heard anything and I just called them up. Hey, you know, what is the process once you've, you know, once you've received it? She says, oh, it, it takes, you know, sometimes like a week or two because we get all of our cards on Monday and it's a big rush and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, fine. But then um, it was like, I think two days after that, um, I got an update and my status had changed to completed and it already sent off what I believed was the brand new card, the brand new, you know, version of this card damage free. So with that said, I received the envelope right here and opened it up. It looks pretty standard for Panini and what they, you know, the type of envelopes and it came with it, this letter. And it says, we do apologize for the inconvenience. There are certain constraints that pertain to each and every card that we produce. And unfortunately, we are not always able to re uh, replace every card. 
In the case of your damaged card replacement request, we are unable to replace it like, or like for like and are returning the cards to you. Uh, we do apologize that we were unable to repair or replace the item. Below is a list of reasons your card may have been shipped back to you. Thank you for your understanding and for your continued support of our products. Right. Um, and they marked condition sensitive product. Um, when I initially opened this up, I actually had not seen this. I went straight for the card because I want to see the new card. So I had not even known that that piece of paper was even in there. So you all recognize this guy, CJ Stroud, the number two card in this set. So um, if you can see it, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but right here there is like a pitting. I'll try to, anyways, so if you see that, great. Um, also up here there was like some kind of scratching going on up here in the right corner and then we have a print line going straight through his head so and for those reasons were the reasons why I decided to go through this whole process so I went through the process paid the money again after already paying for the set only to find out that that's, this was it, that I was just gonna have to keep this card and that's it. So I wasn't happy with that. So I contacted Panini, I called them. Um, I spoke to whoever it was on the phone. I told them my story, what, what was happening, um, and there was nothing they could do. So they referred me to the, I guess, supervisor or the manager, and they heard my story, understood, they felt bad, I guess, I don't know. To me, it's, it, it's ridiculous that they would have even allowed me to go through this entire process. You know, if, they sub, if I submitted it on their website, on their app, and they said, oh, sorry, we understand that you want to replace this, but, um, the, you know, it's condition sensitive, you know, it's very easy to get these type of things happen, and we're not going to be able to replace it. Not let me go through all that, pay extra money to have it shipped, and all this other stuff weeks later, and finally get back and just to find out that nothing happened. So, the manager actually hooked me up. I'm not saying this is gonna happen every time, but I received this today. And this is what it is. So, dear valued collector, thank you for your continued support of Panini America Inc. and your patience. Unfortunately, we, were unable to, we are unable to provide you with a redemption card. Of course, that's not a redemption card, but anyways. Um, that you have entered into your Panini America account. As a result, please accept this special 2023-24 NFL Prism Redemption Sparkle Pack. Uh, NFL uh, Prism Redemption Sparkle Packs feature three cards per pack. Each pack contains two limited edition non-numbered red sparkle parallels and one SP or SSP from one of the following tiers. We have blue parallel numbered 96, Blue Sparkle Parallel number 224 and Green Sparkle Parallel number 28. Panini America Inc. So when they told me originally on the phone what he was doing, um, I was pretty shocked, pretty, pretty happy. I mean, I, you know, he didn't have to do that, but you know, he did do that. And uh, I actually got more than I thought I was getting. So here it is, uh, not one, not two, not three, but four Prism Sparkle Packs. Um, so now thinking of the title, do you think I got the name of the title? Um, I don't think so. Um, while yes, I'm still upset about the having to go through all that just to find out that nothing was gonna happen, um, I think this uh, definitely warrants um, you know, some gratitude and being thankful for uh, you know receiving something because I know some people have gone through this process and have not received something like this. So with that said, I will show you what I got. Let's see. Hopefully, maybe we get another Stroud and one of the sparkles. So first pack up. And if you're new to this channel, you haven't seen this before, seen me before, seen any of my videos. Uh, please subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, if you're 
if you see my other videos that you have to describe to subscribe um i appreciate it if you would hit uh, give me one of those uh subscribe and uh, hit the like button because it's fun all right first up red sparkle we got a blue sparkle and i already forgot that was 296 okay so shaq thompson let's go to the back we got commanders got Darren Payne the blue sparkle will probably be upside down but let's see yep just what I thought we have Colts Anthony Richardson oh Anthony Richardson wow on the blue sparkle oh man that's wild Oh, it's a little off center though. Oh, but man, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's take a look at that number. We have 70, geez, 79 out of 96. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, that was pack one, folks. So, uh, holy smokes. I have no idea what these things go for. What are these sparkles? I mean, especially now it's a numbered sparkle. Um, wow, that's amazing. That was a mega hit. <laughs> and just like that, um, usually I have my stands, but I didn't come prepared. So I'll uh, review all these after the... All right, let's go to pack two. Hopefully we can get one of these green. Uh, to the eight. Got me shaking a little bit after uh, after that one. All right, we got red, and we have a bull, another blue. All right, we got T.J. Hawkinson, and behind him we got uh, Luke Shoemaker. Ah, Deuce Vaughn. Okay, I like it. Ah, my pile's all over the place. All right, let me... Uh... Right. And on the blue, I'm just going to go ahead and flip it because I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. We have, on the line, if this is a rookie shield, like really two times in a row, we were, is that what we're doing, Panini? Ah, oh, man. Aiden Hutchinson. <laughs> uh, that is. Let's see this. Uh, 81 and 96. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would have loved to see uh, Jimmy or Gibbs or uh, Sam Laporta. Um, but <laughs> I would have started to really question, did they give me some hot packs? I mean, they kind of find out. I mean, I don't believe me. I'll take them. I'm not, I wouldn't be mad at that, but just saying that would have been wild. All right. And let's look at that. So is it just me? It looks like a little bit of difference in blue. We got this one's a little darker. Interesting. Huh? All right. Pack three. He's a little stubborn to open. Uh, first up, Bengals. T. Higgins. Uh, I think I just saw he got he went somewhere. Where'd he go? Um, hit me down in the comments. Let me know. I uh, yeah I forgot he just got not traded but signed with someone else. All right behind. In the red, we have Commanders, Montez Sweat. On the blue, we have Cowboys again. Or hold on, that was Lions, never mind. We had, oh, that's right, we had the Deuce Vaughn on the red. Um, and we have Michael Parsons. Okay. All right, last one. Hopefully we get a different color. I'll go ahead and sleeve that up in a second. Alright, 
come on, something big. Not that we haven't already. It's another blue. It's all right. We have uh, Buda Baker. And we have Steelers. No rookie shield. Uh, Deontay Johnson. For our blue, we have Jaguars. Not a rookie. Christian Kirk. All right, let's put these all, uh, sleeve them up and uh, be right back. All right, we're back. So I've uh, sleeved and top loaded everything. And uh, so to kind of go along with the theme of this video, damaged cards, um, so protect your cards. I used uh, card shells. So they already have the uh, top two corners pre-notched. So your uh, you know, ease of sliding in the card and not and not having to worry about banging up corners and stuff is, uh, you know, it, it's good to know that you're, you know, way less likely to, to do anything like that. So, um, and also here's, you know, like I said, they're top loaders, outstanding product, veteran owned. Um, definitely recommend you uh, checking them out at their website and use my code down below, or sorry, in the uh, description, um, and you'll get 10% off any orders of 50 dollars or more so uh saves you a little bit of coin um so with that uh here's the hits so first up we have buddha baker on the red sparkle i'm gonna do all the red sparkle and then the blue uh darren Payne. sorry the light was shining a little weird we got shaq thompson tj hawkinson montez sweat t higgins deontay johnson and Deuce Vaughn, our lone rookie on the uh, red sparkle. And our blue sparkle. And once again, these were 296. So we have Aiden Hutchinson. And that was two, uh, that was 81, 81 and 96. We had uh, Micah Parsons. And that was 23 out of 96. Christian Kirk, and this is uh, 16 out of 96. And then the color match, rookie from the Colts, Anthony Richardson. His was uh, 79 out of 96. What an amazing, amazing thing. So with all that, let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this whole experience? Hopefully you learned something. Um, I'm not saying that you know you shouldn't try sending them in, but just beware that some things like this can happen, and maybe you know see what happens if this ha does happen to you. You know some additional steps you could take to uh, maybe help yourself. So, anyways, without uh, that'll be it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, I'll be putting out the. Uh, the video uh, opening that here shortly. But until then, uh, see you next time. Peace.